opportunity to speak this morning. Um, I'm uh, here from Memorial Sloan Kettering, um, and we'll discuss an agent that we're using in small cell lung cancer. As everyone knows, small cell lung cancer is a worldwide public health problem, as it is an aggressive malignancy with few therapeutic options and a poor overall survival. Here, we show that rovaltuzumab tesserine, or ROVA-T, is active in patients who have been previously treated with small cell lung cancer, and there is a biomarker associated with responses, delta-like protein, or DLL3, which is highly expressed in approximately 70% of small cell lung cancer patients. ROVA-T is an antibody drug conjugate, which is composed of three parts, an antibody targeted against DLL3, a stable linker, and the active cytotoxic payload. In this phase one study, we enrolled 73 patients with small cell lung cancer patients who had been previously treated and had sensitive or refractory relapse. We evaluated their tumors for the expression of this biomarker, DLL3, and found that DLL3 is very highly expressed in approximately 70% of tumors. In this waterfall plot, which is an indication of the responses that we have seen with this agent for patients treated on study, we saw that all patients treated with Rovit-T had high expression of DLL3. Those patients with stable disease, the ones in the middle, had variable expression of DLL3. This is what we call a swimmer's plot, which indicates the durability of responses that patients have when they're treated with this agent. And these are all patients who had DLL3 positive tumors. I can draw your attention to the patients on the bottom end of the chart who have remained on study for over 300 days. This is very rare for patients with small cell lung cancer to be alive one year post-treatment of an agent, as this is a highly aggressive and progressive disease. I wanted to take you through one of the patients that received the agent. The patient actually received the agent twice and had a partial response after the first administration that was confirmed after the second administration. The patient's tumor continued to have a response to Rova-T and remains without evidence of progression over 300 days post-initial treatment. The side effect profile of the agent is very similar to other chemotherapies, with fatigue being very common. There are some unique side effects that include pleural effusion and photosensitivity, where pleural effusion is an accumulation of fluid in the pleural space, and photosensitivity occurs in sun-exposed skin, and often most relevant in the summer months. And notably, the, the two arms that we used had comparable adverse events. This is a summary of the responses that we saw. And while it's notable that all patients with small cell lung cancer treated at the various dose levels had a response or these patients were unselected, the responses were higher and more durable in patients who had a, who had DLL3 positivity in their tumors. And this occurred whether the patients were treated in second line or third line, and whether they had sensitive or refractory disease. So to conclude, Roba-T has single agent activity in small cell lung cancer patients that have been previously treated. Further, the responses are greater and more durable in patients with DLL3 positive tumors. Therefore, DLL3 may be the first predictive biomarker associated with drug response in small cell lung cancer. Thank you.